Well, thank you ever so much for watching, as always. You're watching a semi-final contest recorded at the Royal Surrey Snooker Club in Morden. Uh, this was a few weeks ago now, and it's between Sam Hersey and John Nelson, two players who are very much on the up, it has to be said, and uh, really excited to be bringing you this contest. It was the IDL Darts Open, that's the Individual Darts League, and you can find more information about the IDL at theidl.co.uk, and you can also search IDL Darts on Facebook and Twitter, and Paul will be able to answer any questions you may have. And for the eagle-eyed amongst you, you may see in the background there a couple of tour card holders. You can have a, a fun quiz at home if you want to try and identify them. Leave your answers in the comments. Uh, but we do have full permission from the PDC. I'm delighted to say uh, that has no bearing on this contest. So thank you to the PDC for allowing that. You can't film tour card holders, uh, as we know. But in this case, it's all good. And the two players are going to pull up now. And I'll tell you a bit more information about both Hersey and Nelson shortly. As he starts us off with a bullseye. Very nice. And this is a semi-final contest, of course. So they will play the winner of the other board so we won't be able to bring you the final as a result of the restrictions on tour card holders as uh, you may well be aware of. Hersey to get us underway here and uh, not a player you may be too familiar with but uh, he has been on the channel before he was a runner-up at Morden uh, in a different venue in Morden there were two venues in Morden uh, there may even be three actually but that was at uh, where they play uh, the county darts and uh, you can find that on the channel. He's a runner-up to Dal Pilgrim on that occasion. And two tons to get us underway here. And uh, a lovely 140 there from Hersey. So if we can screenshot those uh, averages, I'm sure the two players will be very pleased. And uh, well, both players have certainly found their rhythm very early here. So I think we're going to be treated to a really good contest. It's a best of nine fixture another 140 ever see back to back 140s and uh, a nice reply from Nelson well hold on to your hats here guys still six starts from for Sam from one to one good practice game that and well lovely last dart leaves 24 after 12 I mean we'd all take that wouldn't we Nelson looking to apply some pressure. He's definitely going to do that, uh, even with a score of 80. Does leave a, a gettable finish. And a 13 dart leg hold of throw to kick us off here. And it uh, just goes to show both players have, uh, are playing well and uh, have won through a couple of rounds to reach this point. There's he beat Tara Dima and Tony Cole. Nelson also won a couple of games to reach his point against Ryan Payne and Jason Williams. Now this was filmed a few weeks ago, uh, as we, as you know, and Nelson would actually go on to qualify for the Modus Super Series just a couple of weeks after this was filmed. And uh, he's already played his week down in Southampton, mixing it with the best players uh, that aren't on the PDC tour. So it just gives you an idea of the sort of standard that Nelson is playing at at this point. Hersey uh, looking to break the Nelson throw, double his lead. Can't find a treble on that occasion, so still... Slender advantage here for Nelson in this second leg. Really is a lovely venue, the Royal Surrey Snooker Club, it has to be said. Uh, one of my favourites, I've played a lot of darts there. That's a lovely, lovely visit from Nelson. Treble 19 followed by the treble 18. It gets him down to a finish. That's an unfortunate bounce out 
Mercy, but that's a good recovery, and that's a lovely third dart. Well, unfortunate with the first dart, but a great recovery. That's a great recovery from Nelson, and that's a fantastic third dart. A 1 2 8 checkout. 15 dart, hold of throw, and uh, what a start to this game so far. One apiece, onwards we go. Now, would you believe it, Hersey plays just the once a week in a league, I think on a Monday, and uh, occasionally comes out for opens, and this is how good he is. I just think that in a few years' time, when perhaps he has a bit more capacity to commit to the game, uh, he's going to be a player that you want to keep an eye on, because... Uh, if he's this good, only playing once a week, well, I think there were some very exciting times ahead for Sam Nelson. Well, he is really getting into the uh, ADC side of things. This competition is affiliated to the amateur dart circuit. Good thinking here from Nelson. Start on the 18s. He does leave a finish and finds three big trebles. That's an excellent visit, and now there's a lot of pressure on Hersey because Nelson will be back for that 1-3-4. After the 1-7-4 previously, he's actually going to have six darts from here. Starts on the treble 17, because two treble 17s, of course, would have left double 16. So just looks to set this up. Which he does do. And leaves double 12. So I'm accounting. Just, just let me down there. But didn't let down Nelson because he wants double 12. And Nurse already has hit this in this contest. And uh, hits it with his third dart. Uses the first two as great guides. And that is another excellent leg. And Nelson is averaging over 100 here. Breaks the Hersey throw. Who just couldn't find his power scoring when he needed to in that leg but uh, has found it here good recovery 140 to kick us off in this fourth leg as as he looks to get back on level terms Yes, Nelson's been getting into the ADC side of things, so he's currently ranked 32nd nationally in the ADC rankings and 4th in London and the South East region, so that's what got him into the Moda Series playoff with darts like this. And, uh, and then he won through that to book his place in Southampton, so there are rewards out there for those that do play the the ADC side of things, lovely last start there from as he gets him down to a finish. Oh sorry, apologies, it doesn't get him down to a finish, sorry, leaves a bogey number. But uh, still has the advantage here. Nelson does leave the big fish, which he'll be back for. How handily placed will Hersey be after these darts? And the answer is very much so, because he's left double 16 after 12 170 won't go puts a big dent in it but it's Hersey with first opportunity to win this fourth leg gets it with his first dart 13 dart break back what an unbelievable game I can't remember a game sort of a high standard that I've filmed at Morden before this may well be the best game at Morden that I've Captured so far, if they can keep it up. Let's see. Another 140 to start a leg from Hersey. is not mucking around here. Nelson, again, finding the treble 19 with regularity. Switching has been very, very strong for him on the treble 19s and treble 18s so far. And, uh, well, he's got a couple of wins He's, he's hoovered up a lot of titles, it has to be said, Nelson, this year. Won the Croxley Open. 
beating Simon Perkins, very handy player is Simon. He has won, he, did, he would win uh, the Morden Open after this one that was filmed. He beat uh, Nick Holman in the final and would also beat Martin Lukeman, the world number 40, and Jason Askew as well. And he'd also enjoy a victory at the Southwark Open, beating Cam Crabtree and Dan Russell. So that's why he's so highly ranked. It's a lovely visit from Hersey. It's very tantalisingly poised, this contest. Another two trouble 19s in a visit from Nelson. It gets him down to a two darter. So Nelson will be back for that 76. Hersey has to hit and hope. No trouble found, so another opportunity for a break of throw here. 16 leaves tops. Well found. Well found. What a match. What a match. 15 dark break of throw. Nelson averaging 97. It's not hard to see why he's enjoyed so much success. He's in again. He's in again. I need to lie down after this one. Let's see. Playing well. Threads one through the middle, rescues his throw there, keeps him in it just about. If you want to find out more about the IDL, well, just to give you a bit of context, the Individual Darts League, it's a singles league run by Paul Butler, and it's based out of a few venues in London, this being one of them. Uh, also includes Southwark, the Spots and Stripes, London Bridge, as well as uh, Farringdon and Swiss Cottage. So uh, if any of those venues are near to you, then do make contact with Paul and I'll be happy to help. Another very strong leg from these two, has to be said, as he's keeping himself in contact with Nelson at this point. And, uh, well, there's a magnet in that treble 20 for Nelson. He's absolutely hammering it, as is Hersey. So it's, it's a very, very good contest. Has to take stock here, as he has to switch. Does do to leave a finish. Nelson better placed at this point. This could go. Doesn't, but leaves himself on double 16. 164 won't go. Lovely last dart, but uh, perhaps a bit resigned there to this going. That looks to be a good marker. It is a good marker. Ricochets if in off of the uh, first dart there and a 17 dart hold of throw and now Hersey has to win three legs in a row if he's going to book his place in the final to play either of the two players in the background you can see just the 26 Hersey to kick us off here and a 139 for Nelson, another multi treble visit. Power scoring's been really amazing to see. Hersey really hasn't done much wrong here. Sam has to adjust. He's got a great technique. Both players' throws, I have to say, are very impressive. Good stance. They know their way around the dartboard. I think you. Uh, Need to keep an eye out for these two as Nelson makes a big sprint towards the finish line in this first to five contest and uh, no travels for Hersey in those first three visits. So Nelson looks to leave a finish, doesn't do. Sam finds a treble 20 with his first dart. Gets a ton there. Long overdue. Is it too late? Nelson. Ken. A magnet on that treble 19. And he leaves 
78 after 12. Hersey with two strong visits there. But uh, it may all be in vain because 78 is going to be one match dart for Nelson. I think he now wants double 10. He does. It just threw him out of his rhythm that. Found tops. Just wanted to make sure he had the single 20. So the 130 then. Hersey to save his skin. Needs the treble. Finds the treble. I like that. Takes a step back. Knows what's at stake here. Needs the bullseye to keep himself in this contest. What a dart that is. What a dart. And you can hear a few people in the background cheering on Sam. And uh, yeah, that was really good. Remember, he hit the bullseye uh, to start this contest. So uh, clearly likes that part of the board. He actually started that leg with three troubleless visits, so uh, he's really recovered very well. So he survived a match dart. Can he find the crucial break and force this to a decider? Only 60 from Nelson, but as he needed a big visit of his own. Does find the trouble 20, so keeps pace at least. Nelson. Just gets rid of the nine on his score. Percy. Is keeping pace with Nelson here. It's very finely balanced, this. It's what we love to see. Trouble 20 needed to leave a finish, can't find it. Is that an opening for Sam here? Needs at least a ton, you feel. Needs a treble 20 now. No, can't find it, so it's too close to call. Getting a bit scrappy, perhaps. Nelson scratches his head. Knows that that was a good opportunity to sprint for the line here. Sam has a good opportunity to apply the pressure, and he does do. He leaves it to Data. Now the semi-final was finished in the background. Richie Edhouse awaits in the final. Is it going to be against John Nelson? Who leaves 72 if this 96 doesn't go? This is a great opportunity to break. Didn't want the single one, though. Well... Trouble 15 would have left the bull. Didn't go for the trouble 19 route. So Nelson is back for the 72. That's not what he would have wanted. So 72. So one match start incoming, you feel. Needs to readjust. Just double 16. And he finds it, and he turns straight around to shake the hand of Hersey. What a great contest between those two. Commiserations to Hersey, great game. Really, really very good. And uh, it's John Nelson who will book his place in the final where we'll take on Richie Edhouse. Thank you very much for watching, as always.